I'm Kiana Krause, and this is Campus Update. We have a lot in store for you this week. As always, there is much to report in Oilers sports. Cross Country's Cassie Durgy recently finished the Dana Hills race with a time of 17.22, clocking in as the fastest girl in Orange County. For the boys, Lars Mitchell came in first in the ninth grade race. Boys Varsity Cross Country was ranked number nine in the county for the second week in a row. Girls Golf is ranked seventh in the county, their highest ranking ever. Congratulations to our runners and golfers, but what's going on at the pool? Let's take a closer look at what water polo has planned for this year. I feel that our varsity water polo team is in good shape and go on to dominate Sunset League and CIF. Our main focus just on playing concrete solid water polo, making sure we're mentally aware of everything that's going on. Once season comes around, we'll have a game at least once a week. How I prepare to get a good night's sleep before the game day, you want to eat a lot of carbs, carbo load before. Once we're in the water, we'll do sprints, we'll do passing, we'll do shooting. We'll have a meeting before going over each and every team, their skill sets, their strengths, as well as what we need to do to counter their skills and strengths. HBHS Varsity Water Polo Unity, we are the team, we are each other's family, we're, we're basically all here for the same goal, and we all work together to accomplish that goal. Make sure to support water polo and come out to the games every Wednesday. ¿Te gustas viaja? ¿Quieres ir a nuevos lugares? Si este eres tú, tienes que investigar el viaje de España. Over the past few years, Miss Acuna and Miss Adame have taken several of their students across the world to share in unique experiences as they immerse themselves in Spanish culture. This will be the second annual trip to Granada, Spain. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for students to travel around the country and immerse themselves in the Spanish culture. Students are able to attend if they are in Spanish 3 or AP Spanish. On this journey, students will gain an experience they will never be able to replicate. For more information, contact Senorita Acuna in J3 or Senorita Adame in J5 to join. That sounds like an extravagant trip, but why not take a moment to celebrate our own local history with the next APA main stage show, City of Angels. It's a musical theater, but one of the more rare kinds, a musical comedy that takes place in the glamorous days of 1940s Hollywood. Here's an exclusive behind the scenes look at how the show will play out. City of Angels is a jazzy kind of musical set in the 1940s and it's of the film noir genre. Uh, it's split into two halves, a Hollywood comedy and a detective melodrama. And I play the character Stone, uh, Detective Stone, and uh, he's the star of the movie, the melodramatic movie, that the main character, Stein, is writing about. Girls don't vanish in thin air. Throughout the whole story, Stein is writing the screenplay that's based off of his book, but the movie producer, Buddy, keeps changing the script and making it really confusing and things happen within that and it's like a story within a story but in the end it's a really really good show that everyone should go see. Uh, tickets are $22 for adults uh, and general admission and then $16 for students and seniors. If you go to Huntington and have a ID it's $5. City of Angels will be performed the weekend of October 16th through October 18th and also the following weekend of the 23rd through the 25th. Speaking of the arts, Huntington Beach High School alumnus and renowned artist N. Templeton has brought a collection of his work that will be on display locally at the Huntington Beach Art Center. We talked to a student who recently took part in the exhibit to tell us about her experience. Ed Templeton, a Huntington Beach High School alumni and photographer, has an exhibit at the Huntington Beach Art Center located on Main Street called Common Side Effects. The exhibit features photography and art from other local photographers such as Nolan Hall, Devin Briggs, Grant Hatfield, Deanna Templeton, and Billy Sancho Williams. It's really inspiring and it inspires people to take pictures on film cameras instead of digital and it also inspires people to kind of get their creative flow going. The Art Center is open Tuesday to Thursday from 12 to 8, Friday 12 to 6, and Saturday 12 to 5. Admission is free, but donations are welcome. The Templeton exhibit will run until November 7th. Well, it looks like that's all we have for today, Oilers. Tune in next time and thanks for watching. And remember, the earth without trees is like pizza without cheese. <laughs>